property tax bill. You're probably paying several hundred to several thousands of dollars. Well, now imagine how much the bill is for a structure like, say, Bank of America yeah, Stadium. Wrap your head around those numbers. The Panthers must pay more than $4.8 million in property taxes. And if you think that number sounds high, well, so do the Panthers. Reporter Gina Esposito is in front of the stadium. And Gina, the team, they're actually appealing their property tax bill today. Yeah, Brittany, in just about three hours, the Carolina Panthers will appeal to the county tax collector. They will argue that their property tax bill for Bank of America Stadium right here is way too high. Currently, the Panthers organization owes more than $4.8 million in property taxes. The Panthers say their bill went up 200% after the county property revaluation. The payment was due on January 6th, but it has not been paid. Right now, the county considers their account to be delinquent. The organization is being charged 2% interest for the month of January. This is a big deal because the taxes collected are used by the county, city, and local towns to provide services like police, fire protection, and garbage pickup. Now, during the hearing this morning, the county tax collector expected to argue that that amount should remain the same. We will have a crew at that hearing, and we'll give you updates later on today. All Brittany. Right, looking forward to Hearing the outcome, Gina, thank you. And again, the property taxes, they've either been paid or they're considered delinquent by now. Today, Channel 9 will talk to the Mecklenburg County Tax Assessor's Office. We're going to learn which big businesses still owe big money. Last year, we told you Google Fiber owed around $1.8 million in delinquent property taxes. That was the county's largest outstanding tax at the time. The county also flagged Frito-Lay for delinquent taxes on its Nevada Boulevard location. About a dozen other property owners in Mecklenburg County owed more than $10,000 in late tax fees. Our government reporter Joe Bruno is digging into the list of big companies delinquent on this year's taxes. He'll let you know who was on that list in a live report that will air here on Channel 9 starting at 5 o'clock.